Okay, we're gonna start our fox. I'm gonna start in the middle of my paper and we are gonna start with our nose. Our nose is gonna be a straight line across and a little U shape. And then we're gonna fill that in. Be sure that you're coloring nice and neat. Okay, and then I'm going to make the nuzzle, the muzzle, excuse me, the muzzle. So it's going to be kind of a, a bent C shape. So I'm going to make kind of a slightly curved line at the top. And then this line is going to curve down. And I'm going to put a little mouth. I think that would be cute. If you had a little mouth, color that in. Okay, I also want to give him some little dots for his whiskers. One, two, three. I think I want to give him some hearts for cheeks. You don't have to do hearts. You could do circles or ovals. I'm gonna do a heart. So I'm gonna start with two little bumps, like a bird. And then I'm gonna connect it with one and a point at the bottom. It doesn't have to be perfect, mine's not perfect. I'm gonna color that in. I'm gonna do one over here. I'm gonna make my two bumps and then make it into a point at the bottom and color it in. Okay, I want to do his eyes and I want them to be kind of sleepy or happy eyes. So I'm going to make them little slivers like this. You can make them however you want. Maybe they're hard eyes for you. Maybe they're regular circle eyes. It's up to you, you can make your own eyes. Okay. I'm gonna put the black back and I'm gonna get the red out. Now, I'm gonna use the red to make my fox's fur shape. So a fox has kind of a V shape on his head. So I'm going to start down here, right in the middle of his snout and I'm going to make an arch over to the side of his face. If it helps to make a point on the side of his face where you're drawing over to, that would be good too. So make an arch over to that point. And I want to leave room at the top for my ears, so I want the top of my head to be there and come down. And I'm going to draw triangle ears that go all the way to the top. Hopefully you have more room than I do to make your ears bigger. And I'm going to make a little white part in the center. Okay, and I'm going to color that part in very light. I want it to be pink. So I'm gonna add just a little bit of red. And then what color do I need to add over it to make pink. If you said white, you're correct. White is a tint of red. So when you add white to red, you get pink. So watch this. And being careful of the color in the lines. My fox to be pink. I want the tops of his ears to be pink, but I want the insides to stay white. Okay, good. Now, I'm gonna take that red back. I notice on foxes that they're, if I feel them, they're nice and furry. So I want the bottom of his chin to be furry. So I'm gonna draw two lines that go down and then the bottom of it is going to be furry and maybe I want to add a little fur up there too 
and here at the bottom I have room for a bow tie. So I'm going to add a bow onto my box. I'm going to start with a circle. I'm going to add two diagonal lines, one going upwards, one going downwards. Doing the same on the other side. They can overlap my fur a little bit, that's okay. One going up, one going down, and then I'm going to connect these two on the ends. And watch, I can color that in. And you can add a pattern to your tie. You can add dots, you can add lines, you can add zigzags, you could leave it red, it's up to you. I think I'm going to add polka dots. And since I'm coloring over the red, my polka dots are turning what color? Pink. Okay, so I've done my polka dots. I'm going to outline my bow tie to make it really pop. And voila! You have your box. You can cut this out and glue it into your heart paper. And you are done. So cool. Have fun with this.